It's the Bird Book Hour with Bill Thompson III. Hi there, folks. Bill Thompson III here, editor of Bird Watchers Digest, everybody's favorite bird magazine. I want to talk to you today about some books that we sell here at BWD that I think you need to know about. First of all is the one that's closest to my heart, The Young Birder's Guide to Birds of North America. It's the book I worked on with my daughter Phoebe's elementary school class when she was in fourth and fifth grade, and my son Liam's class as well when he was in those same grades a few years later. And uh, this book is great for uh, the young birder in your life. It's got one species per page. It covers 300 of the most common, most interesting birds in North America, and um, each uh, each species profile has a wow fact and a photo and a little bit of art and a map. It gives you all the stuff you need to know to identify a bird and check it off at the bottom of the page. So the Young Birder's Guide, it's $15.95. We sell them here at BWD. I'll sign them to the Young Birder in your life. Next is a book I like to refer to as Hamburger Helper for your field guide. It's called Identify Yourself. The 50 Most Common Birding Identification Challenges. Now, I wrote a lot of this book, but I also had a lot of help from some of the biggest names in bird identification. Rick Blom, Jeff Gordon, Marshall Iliff, George Armistead, Julie Zikafus. Julie did all the paintings in here, page after page of illustrations. And when I say it's hamburger helper for your field guide, it's because it gives you a lot more text on the confusingly similar birds than your field guide's going to give you, in addition to giving you ex excellent art. So I've had a lot of my sort of medium level and avid birder friends say they really love this book because it gives you so much detail for those tough birds to tell apart. Um, and uh, I'm really proud of the book uh, and I hope you'll give it a try. Identify yourself. Thirdly, I want to talk to you about a couple of backyard books that we uh, published with our friends at Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. First one is called Identifying and Feeding Birds and it's, like the title suggests, all about identifying and feeding birds in your backyard. So it's got all kinds of info about creating habitat, about feeding birds, and then the back section has a whole bunch of common backyard birds for you to learn about and identify with range maps and photos and all that stuff. It's a really good book. It's book one in a three book series, the second of which is called Hummingbirds and Butterflies. Hummingbirds and Butterflies I wrote with my co-author Connie Toops, who's a butterfly expert, and we've got all kinds of great info in there about hummingbirds and butterflies. Um, uh, Connie helped me write some really great information on gardening for hummingbirds and butterflies. We've got species profiles, troubleshooting, all kinds of cool stuff, lots and lots and lots of great pictures. And these books are $14.95 a piece. The third one is going to be called Bird Homes and Habitats. That's going to be out in a while. I just finished writing that one. So these two are $14.95. I think I forgot to tell you, identify yourself is $19.95. 20 bucks for more bird inform information than you can handle. Finally, I'd like to talk to you about a couple of books that I was involved in a little bit tangentially. Good Birders Don't Wear White. If you don't have this book, it's only $8.95 and it's hilarious. It's got little entries and bits of advice from uh, some of the top birders in North America uh, with names like Dunn and Kaufman and, and uh, Boughton and Gordon and Widensall and names like that. So you want to check this book out, Good Birders Don't Wear White. I've got a chapter in there called The Incredible Brightness of Seeing, which is about keeping your binoculars clean. So it's 50 tips from North America's top birders, 895, Good Birders Don't Wear White. Finally, I want to talk to you about the Peterson Field Guide series. I had the honor of combining the Peterson Eastern Field Guide and Western Field Guide text to produce the first ever Peterson Field Guide for all of North America in one title. Um, and I also produced with my friend Jeff Gordon a bunch of video podcasts that went along with this that you can watch for free on the internet. So the Peterson Field Guide to Birds of North America, the most trusted name in field guides many people feel, and uh, this book is an incredible book. It's $26. Um, it's got the old Peterson art and up-to-date maps and information. Um, so it's almost a collector's item because, you know, who doesn't know the Peterson name? Without Roger Troy Peterson and his first field guide in 1934, where would birding be today? I don't know. Now, excuse me, I've got to answer the birding hotline. Yes, hello. There's a buff-breasted sandpiper over at Buffy St. Marie's house. i got to get there. See you later. Thanks for listening. You've been watching the Bird Book Hour with Bill Thompson III, Miss Moneypenny. 
To order the books mentioned on today's show, visit birdwatchersdigest.com slash shop. Toodaloo.